Hey, you guys think you know which way it's going to go? Yeah. Always. Well, you should head on and over to Sports Interaction, whatever sport. Sports Interaction has you covered pregame, live and betting, and all major sports. And, of course, your prop bets. If you want to bet, where do you go, guys? Sports Interaction. Sport, SportsInteraction.com slash SDPN. Come on. 19 plus, please play responsibly. Duba said we are... He actually laid out what they were going to do. We're going to get high-end talent, and we're going to keep them. And uh, for the guys that are tough, we're going to go and trade and sign for those guys. We're going to go find those guys. Um, and uh, nobody believed that they could do it. And here they are doing it. Every year they find somebody, right? What are we going to do when Zach Hyman goes? Well, in comes Michael Bunting. Uh, boy, we need, a, we need an answer at third line center. Well, here's David Camp. Who? Who the fuck well, is David the, Camp? You know what I mean? The, the, converse, the conversation with the Leafs is always, this player is so good. The Leafs are not going to be able to keep them. So it's bad. Whereas the con the, the conversation should always be, uh, holy shit, they routinely get amazing players and uh, give them the or uh, get them to play at a level where they get a contract that's going to set them up with generational wealth. Yes. Um, now I would love it if they were able to keep them, but they had Andreas Janssen, they had Kasperi Kapanen, they mm -hmm. had Connor Brown, they had Zach Hyman, they had. Jack Campbell. They had Jake Gardner. Go, Jake Gar well, James Van yeah. Riemsdyk, Tyler Bozak. Like the, all those the, guys. The, the guys I'm listing, though, were unestablished before mm. joining mm. the Leafs or they yeah. were depth picks or whatever. And then every time you lose one, you go, oh, the team's fucked. They're never going to be able to replace them. And then they get shithead McGillicuddy from some league you've never heard of, and they come in and score 40 points. The Leafs do not get enough credit for the Mark Donks and Buzz Flibbits yeah. of the world. True. Maybe it's Calling the Leafs who are them. making these guys good and getting them to their next contract. And then they grow as players once they're within this organization, and then they graduate and they move on because we can't afford right. them anymore. But yeah, credit the Leafs for growing these guys and just plugging anybody in around the core and growing them as great players. That's they why the they Mason should have been Marchman dead in the water a long time ago. Oh yeah, well that's why the Mason Marchman thing always pisses me off because it's like, guys, Mason Marchman was never going to get ice time here. He never was. The team was too good. The, the players ahead of him had way better skating. It's great that things turned out for him, but he was never going to get the ice time here that he needed to become the success that he's become. Add Mason Marchman to the, le uh, to, to the list. Add Trevor Moore to the list. Yep. Add uh, Alexander Barabanov to the list. Yeah. yeah. Who's doing well. You know what I mean? Like, and, and the, if you add all those guys back to the Leafs, if there's no salary cap, you put them all back in the Leafs, they win the Stanley Cup. It, it's not it's not how it works. It's just not how it works. None of those players emerge into the players that they currently are without going somewhere else. Was Trevor Moore ever going to get off of the Leafs fourth line? No. Maybe like, like let's no. say there's no salary cap. Well, you know, why isn't it just lovely that he got to go to a different situation with the LA Kings that started terribly, by the way. It did not start well for him last season, but he sticks it out on a line with Philip Deneau, and now he's a multimillionaire. Hooray! Isn't that amazing? It's great. And what if the Leafs lose Michael Bunting? What if the Leafs lose David Kampf? What if? Then they replace them with who? I don't know, but I feel like there's enough of a track record there now where we can take our foot off the anxiety gas a little bit and be like, uh, you know what? This group that should be resigned, by the way, deserves a little bit of credit for always finding new guys. And I know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I don't think getting rid of the Dubas management group makes any sense no it doesn't i just i don't think it makes any sense you're not committing to a hard reset you are you got your core locked up and you are desperately trying to re-sign austin matthews at the end of this you should lock this guy up you should my lock kyle dubas but up steve my question is not whether or not the leafs want to lock kyle dubas up my question at this point is does he want to stay and if if you want to have the anxiety conversation i don't know that he does I don't know that he does. He's taken a lot of shit here. Yeah. And he had a really good trade with the Chicago Blackhawks and Knicks last year. And the, 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 one of the players involved in that deal, Brandon Hagel, went and ate his fucking team alive 
during a seven game uh, series. If your upper management doesn't trust you enough to make deals like that, I'm going to find a team that can. The grass isn't always greener, though. The, it is. You can always find a meddling manager. I agree. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm not. I'm not sold that he necessarily needs to stay. Maybe he wants to. Does he need to? He doesn't need to. MLSC is going to royally fuck this up if they lose Dubas. Like I, I. That's such a non-starter for me. Like, how is not the most successful regular season back-to-back years in Toronto Maple Leafs history not enough? How is not just having all the, those guys be listed? And all, side note, having the perspective of being like, oh, hey, look at Trevor Moore and Mason Marchman and not looking at all of the guys that are successful here and like focusing on the guys that have left and been successful. That's the worst perspective you can have in the world. But that's side note. Um, Today is December 23rd. Mm-hmm. Do you know what happened on November 29th? This past this year? year? Yeah, no. just a few weeks ago. No, no what happened? Kyle Dubas turned 37. Wow. Young guy? Lock the guy yeah. up. No, that's going to be one of the biggest mistakes in franchise history. If they don't just give him a couple more years, just resign him, give him whatever he wants, just run this back and see what's happening. Because they've clearly built a very good team, and the organization has only been trending up since he got here. Right. He, he's I made a number of... Six- Questionable of, decisions. Most well, of them of playoff success aside, which I don't think you can put him put it as at his feet anyway, um, completely anyway. Um, you know, I think that there is. Uh, I think you guys are right. And the other thing that Kyle Dubas is going to be looking at here is remember when he signed his contract as general manager, he was a rookie GM. Mm-hmm. He had been the AGM, but he had not been the full time GM. He's been the GM now for I think four years. This contract that he's going to get is going to be a significant raise as well financially behind the scenes mls he could absolutely afford it. it's not a question of that but you know that whatever kyle dubas is looking out for now he's got a young family uh he's going to be looking out for big bucks and uh if you're him and you've put together the the resume that you have uh why wouldn't you the leafs would better be not only willing to pony up on years because he's going to be asking for a long-term deal it better be a high aav and there's no salary cap on general managers so you can you can bet that he would be one of the, the most sought after GMs this summer. No question about it. So anyway, Jesse, next question. Yeah, no, but to end that, like if Kyle Dubas doesn't get re-signed in Toronto, there's 30 GMs who better be worried about losing their job j- because <laughs> they might fire them and bring in Kyle Dubas. 31. Yeah. because yeah. no, he wouldn't come back to the Leafs. And then, uh, yeah, so I guess 31. Yeah. 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 And Shut Sackick, up. I think, is okay. And Eiserman, I think, right. is okay. Yeah, there's there's a couple that are up. 